Hey everybody, it's Daisy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming for the week of September 28th to October 4th and I am using the kit Morning Pumpkin. And I am very excited because this is my first time using our new reformat of our weekly kits. Have to say, it took a little bit to figure out. There are just way too many more options now with all the like squared boxes, the labels, the squared quarter boxes, those little square boxes. There's just so, so many. But I have to say I loved it and I love all the options. I love the new little things. I just, they're awesome. And I love that I don't have to like worry about covering up an icon on the little things. It's just, it makes me so happy. So very happy with the new format and I know that you guys love it too so thank you so so much. Uh, okay so let's start with the bottom washi. I am going to be using some Simply Gilded washi that I got in my August sub box? I believe so. In my August sub box. That box is amazing. I have used so much of it lately. Um, you'll see in my Throwback Thursday spread this week that I used a lot of it too. So I used that thinner bow washi at the bottom and then I used the washi that came in the kit. And I wanted to keep the um, overlay simple just because the bottom washies were both super busy that I decided to use our confetti washi. And I did use the 15 millimeter one. It doesn't cover all the way but you know what it's clear so I don't really care. Uh, the foil color that I'm using for this kit is rose gold. Haven't used rose gold in a hot minute and thought it was a sure time that I used it. I think that I use it in my Throwback Thursday spread too. So uh, that one's coming on Thursday and I believe it's very similar tones, which is interesting because it's spring versus fall. So that's kind of cool. Uh, okay, so then I just chose to use the blue tone on the glitter headers. And then my washi banner is a whole bunch of Simply Gilded washi. I tried to bring in that blue, but I only really had that one bow washi with the heart uh, confetti. And then I brought in a lot of like this coppery rose gold that was from the sub box. Because I just think that looked so, so pretty and so fall. Um, and then I'm going to do my um, full boxes and my header overlays are the star confetti. And for my full boxes, I'm going to be using an assortment of overlays, including um, our cornered ones, our photo corners, confetti, pumpkin, uh, fall wreaths, leaves. It's just ridiculous. So, so many. I just wanted to like do a whole different variety and I had a huge stack of rose gold since I haven't used it in a while so I got to have a lot of choices which was great. Alright so I'm just going to go and finish up now for you guys and I'll be right back. Alright, so my base is pretty much down. I'm just finishing up the last of the foil 
But I'm thinking I really need to find some more music. Like I really don't, I think I have like one or two, three songs. Yeah, and I feel like you guys are probably always really tired listening to the exact same song. So I will be on the hunt for new music. Okay, so let's get into the day to day. Um, I just decided to do something a little bit different. Um, I used to always use quarter boxes for my work. I like to put an icon and then a foiled script sticker, but I decided I always end up needing more quarter boxes, like I always run out. And so I thought, why not use these washi strips? They, because we did the reformat, we reformatted so all washi strips were the same size. So they're like this thicker, a uh, little bit bigger than uh, the little thing, so a little bit bigger than headers, but they're so perfect for layering an icon with script, and I love it. So I will be doing this a lot because I quite enjoyed that, and then I can save my quarter boxes. So the icons that I chose to use for the week is Monday. I use that uh, silhouette icon that is a personal use that I have. On Tuesday, that is from plannerbomb.com, and I believe... That one said something like pack orders on it and I just kind of took the script off because she's still holding an envelope and that's totally me. Uh, on Wednesday there is a printer from I believe Let's Plan It and on Thursday I do my design day and that uh, computer sticker is from Alley Cat's shop and then the computer icon on Friday is from the kit. So pretty simple. Okay, so on Monday, my son had a haircut in the morning, and then um, my husband Jake had a haircut in the evening after work. So instead of marking it twice, I just kind of put them both in the same appointment label just to kind of save some space. So I used that hair appointment sticker and then just wrote in that arrowed section, uh, Jake and TJ. And then I was listening to the book The Elite this day, which is the second book in the selection series. Fantastic. Loved, loved it. Like, you know you like a book when you listen to it constantly. Like, I would be driving to the post office and I would have my phone as loud as it could go so that I could listen to the book. Or waiting for my kids at school drop-off, I would sit in my car as long as I possibly could listening to the book uh, before I had to get out and go and meet them. So you know it's a good book when it's like that. Uh, I use the book icon from the kit and I do have to say I have to wait another like 14 weeks or something like that to get the next one on from my library. So it's going to be a bit of a struggle but I do have a good book lineup um, that I need to listen to right now. Uh, and then I used a music icon and an appointment label to mark that Cheyenne had piano this day. Um, I also ran to Giant Tiger in the morning because I needed to get a seasoning for our dinner. This is the only place that I can find this seasoning. It is those, it's Italian like dip mix. I don't know, it's like a powder in a little bag. I don't know. That is the only place I can find it. I can't find it at Walmart or Superstore or our grocery store, nowhere. So I never go to Giant Tiger. So when I go there, I buy five because it's one of our favorite meals and I never can get it. So that is what I ran in there to get. Uh, and then in the evening, my husband was watching the hockey game, maybe. He went to Burger burger week with one of some with his friend this day and he had some friends over so I just decided to take the evening and play sims all evening and then I did film a video so I think I filmed oh yeah my last I finished up my last week's current spread so I finished up the bonfire and chill uh, video this day on Tuesday it was a rough night on Monday uh, my son got up in the middle of the night and it was just something very simple like he said mom I have to go to the bathroom I'm like okay you can go ahead and he went and he went back to sleep and I could not fall asleep I usually pride myself on being able to just fall back asleep any single time since having kids that's like super easy for me but for some reason this day I just could not fall back asleep 
I was tossing and turning and I ended up turning the TV back on and watching TV because I just could not sleep. And yeah, it was rough. Like I barely slept a wink that day. So I used that sticker from Planner Mania. She's definitely how I felt. And then this day I was still listening to The Elite and definitely got Tim's this day because that was a rough, rough day. Um, I liked that she had that Tim's Run script. I never actually use the scripts that she has on her, char on her character sheets or her icon sheets, but they're really cute, so I'm going to try and start using them. I think I used the Namaste script recently, too. And then I got my eyebrows done this day, and I used a brow sticker from Planner Monkey Co., and then using my first little squared box, which is so, so cute, I put a Stick with the Plants Co. girl eating a burger because it was actually burger week in our area. So um, it was, I think, 12, maybe 15, something like that. Uh, different restaurants had different burgers. So a lot of them did very specialty, like this is the only opportunity to get this burger type thing. And some of them, like big chains, kind of just did their regular burgers. But you got to vote on um, what you liked. And so this day we went to um, Chicken Chef. They had what they called their Kilkia burger, which if you're not familiar with that, is basically like these thicker noodles and they have a cream sauce on them. And it's... Uh, they took that and deep fried it with cottage cheese and so it was like this crusted patty and then they put farmer sausage which is a thing that's only available in like Manitoba but it's like a meat and it's like super good and then they put it on a bun with onions that kind of thing so so good like totally up my alley loved it um so that was really good my husband ended up going to three different places this week I only ended up trying two but it was so fun and I'm super glad that our area decided to do that. And then we came home and I was tired and didn't really want to do anything so I just played Sims again. I have been super addicted to it again, which is so fun. And those Sim icons are from the sticker party. And then this night, since I was already tired, my dog actually kept us up all night, our dog Toby. He was like hacking away and like coughing all night, which I really didn't think was like a big deal. Like I was trying to get him to drink water. I was trying to get him to go outside. And I think, I don't know, I should, I definitely need to watch him. He's, he's an older dog now and uh, like he gets all his medication and his shots for like kennel cough and everything. So I'm going to have to like watch him and just kind of see how he's doing, but he kept me up all night doing all that, so I used a Planner Mania Girl with her little teddy bear to mark that I was so tired. On Wednesday, to mark that I was very tired, I used one of our uh, Prairie Girls just sleeping. And then it was actually my brother-in-law's birthday this day, and I used the balloons from the kit along with the script that comes in the kit. And then I just kind of like put it a little higher up, and then I wrote his name in there. Uh, and then I ended up getting Tim Hortons this day. That is a trend this week, I tell ya. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Lived on it this week. And then I ended up starting a new book. I finished The Elite and I started listening to um, Carval. I think that's how you pronounce it. Super good. Loved it. I didn't end up getting to finish it before my book was due, so I had to renew it. But I really liked what I've listened to so far. And that um, icon is from Once More With Love. And then I did our meal plan for the week and went grocery shopping. And that grocery shopping script is from the kit. And then I used one of our older Prairie Girls with her grocery bag. Then I also had a really bad headache this day, probably because I was very tired and living on coffee. And I used a Coffee Monsters Co. Guide to mark that. And then in the evening, me and my husband just watched Two Broke Girls. I think we actually finished it that day. Super good show. Absolutely loved it. The ending, not. Not a fan. I was super disappointed. So if you've watched it, let me know if you like the ending. Because I thought it was just kind of meh. Not very exciting. On Thursday, 
Again with the trend, I went to Tim Hortons and I used a coffee cup from Planner Mania for that. And then I watched a lot of YouTube, so I was designing all day. And when I design, that's usually me just sitting with my laptop in my bed. And I just watch TV, like YouTube, I set a big playlist first thing in the morning. And then I just design. And that is like the best. It's like one of my favorite days to do that. Um, I know I get a lot done and it just feels good to just kind of like have a chill and relaxed day. And so I used a YouTube, or, yeah, YouTube icon to mark that. And then I filmed some videos in the evening. I started, I filmed, I think my planner flip through and maybe edited some videos. And I used the cloud um, planner icon that comes as part of the deco for the kit. I don't have a cloud myself, I wish. I'm totally asking one for one for Christmas because I think those planners are gorgeous. Like, love, love those planners. And then I decided to have a bath in the evening and I used a Me Time script from the kit and then a little girl with her robe from Planner Monkey Co. And then the next part I'm just going to skip over just because it's a little bit personal. And then um, me and my husband watched the show Good Girls. So we finished Two Broke Girls and we knew that the new season of Good Girls was had come out on Netflix and super excited. I love that show. Like it keeps me in so much suspense and like it makes me nervous a little bit, but I'm so excited and intrigued to know what's gonna happen. I I don't know, I love it. So like if you like a little bit of a suspenseful uh, thing, that's like such a good show, but it's still funny. So I like that. And I used a Prairie Girl from our movie night sheet to mark that. On Friday, I was listening to uh, Carval again. So I used a uh, listen to audiobook sticker and I layered that on some washi. And then um, after work, I went to pick up the kids and then I ended up chatting with my friend at the school. Our kids just kind of played on the play structures and we ended up chatting for an entire hour, which is crazy, but it was really nice. Like we talked about um, different things that our kids are doing in school. We talked about the new bus schedule, which is so exciting. So. My kids are able to take the bus, but because of COVID, they had to like restructure how the bus system works. And since our kids were, this is their first year on the bus, they didn't have, like they were like on the third run. So basically they'd be getting home an hour after school and we live like in the same town. Like it's pretty crazy. So um, I just been, have been driving the kids, and but luckily we got uh, notified this day that the bus schedule is changing starting on the 15th, so I'm super, super excited. So we were chatting about that because we actually live in the same bay, and we um, uh, our kids would be going on the exact same bus schedule, so that's really nice. So to mark that, I used a little Once More With Love uh, Kids Playing in the Sandbox. And then we decided to get another burger from Burger Week and we went to a place called Charlie B's which is just a drive-in restaurant in the town next to ours and it's got amazing amazing food. That burger was so good. It had like deep fried bannock as the bun. It had this bourbon blueberry barbecue sauce. That's very hard to say. Uh, like these chips on top. Yeah it was so good. Such a good burger. And then we were lazy, like I'm talking extremely lazy this evening. I just went and pulled some stickers for some spreads that I was doing. I got super into the game Magic Kingdoms on my iPad, which I think I found the game from watching Kirsten Plans. Such a good game. It's to like one of those games where you have to like wait like four hours before something to like get something done but it's super addicting. So I used um, a Once More With Love little person on their phone, and I think that was on their sampler. And then I used a Netflix TV icon from the sticker party to mark that we watched Good Girls. We watched it the entire evening. We kind of took our food downstairs, and 
watched while we were, we were eating and the kids got to watch their own movie upstairs and then I just pulled stickers and played my game while we were watching TV. It was wonderful. I have to say I do love putting those TVs in the squared off half boxes. I think that looks so good. Uh, I always felt they were kind of um, a little bit bare and they had a little bit too much white space around there. They kind of look a little bit lost. So I really like how that looks. It just gives it a little bit of an extra touch. On Saturday, we went for breakfast with my parents and I used a Millie Papery Co-Girl with her coffee cup for that. And then I came home and cleaned the kitchen. We were so lazy on the Friday that I just still had our takeout out and I just needed to clean up because I can't. I can't live like that. I can't live with a dirty kitchen. Like that's my huge pet peeve is dirty kitchens. And that cleaning bucket is from the kit. And then I decided to edit some videos. Saturdays are mostly my, Saturday and Sundays are like my catch up day for planning stuff lately and I have been loving it. It's just been nice to film one or two videos, edit a video or two on the weekends and then I'm staying caught up on my YouTube schedule which is great. And I did some laundry this day. I filmed a video and that uh, is a prairie girl from my shop to mark that. And then I decided to bake some muffins. I made some banana chocolate chip muffins. We had some bananas that I needed to use up and I used a uh, Stick With The Plants Co-Girl to mark it. And then we went to my husband's family's house uh, for their gathering and it was so good. My husband made pulled pork on our smoker which turned out amazing and then we had like meats and cheese and homemade buns and so many desserts and chili it was fantastic such a great great spread and then in the evening we just came back and watched good girls and that was nice on Sunday, I was leaving for the city this day, so I decided to vacuum out my car and just like get all the stuff out of there. Because you know when you have kids and you're always like driving from here to there, you always just accumulate so much stuff. And so I used a vacuum icon to mark that. Uh, and then I marked that we drove to the city using the car icon from the kit. And then I used the coffee cup from the kit to mark that we ended up getting Starbucks twice. I had so much coffee that this day you guys we got Starbucks twice and I had Tim's before we left for the city so it was quite a day and then I used one of those squared uh, boxes to mark that we did a lot of shopping. We got a bunch of clothes. We went to Michael's and I actually picked up a recollections planner so more details coming soon. Something exciting and we went and got a little bit more decor because if you know me, I still have Christmas stuff up. Yeah, I know you guys, it's really bad. And then we went back to her house, we ordered in Chinese food and we planned, like pulled stickers and planned and we watched the movie How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. So, so fun, such an amazing and fun girls day. So excited that we got to do that. It just felt so nice. And then also I'm switching up my sidebar a little bit. I did put that extra full box at the bottom, some washi, and then my photo in the middle. I kind of like how that looks. It's just a little bit different. I found that I didn't need the currently reading. I write them in my spread, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.